let's start with Photoshop, right? So all the section I give you the assignment that you have to uh, decide something about our school, right? So you you have a menu interface. Okay, I'm going to do a quick and um, dirty trick on that. Okay, let's do it. First, here I'm going to grab something from the web, right? So I'm going to grab some of the school element from our website here. So I'm going to press the print screen on the keyboard to capture the image on this one. And then new, right, in Photoshop. So when I say new, right, uh, I'm going to set at 800 pixel by 600 pixel at 72 pixel per inch. So that's going to be a super VGA, right? Then I'm going to press the element that I capture from the clipboard over. And then maybe, you know, I just decide to choose only the topic, right? The headline. Okay, something like that. And then um, let's see. Okay, the rest of that will be white space. Okay, so after you're done, right, maybe you pick some color that uh, you utilize uh, for your background. So in this case here, I'm going to use the corporate color, the orange and the purple, right? And just uh, press it on, and then Control Shift I to inverse and eliminate some of the menu by using the uh, focal to transparent, and then pick up the the color of the background, and then I eliminate that part here. So I got the logo only and then um, maybe I add a little bit of the menu by press Control J to make a copy of the title bar on that and then add some drop shadow on that all right so now uh, we're going to add some texture for the background okay So the texture it should say like Bangkok University. Right. And then maybe make it a little bit bigger by control T to make the font size bigger. And then control and press the key. So now I got some uh, wording on that, and maybe just uh, make it low opacity. Just make a texture of it. Okay. So now I feel this is good enough for background, right? So I just go to flatten image. So it will flatten everything to the single layer. So now you have this as a background. So you should save it. You know. So this one I'm going to call demo tree. Demo tree. Okay. And then when you save it, right, it's a good idea to save your file as Photoshop file. So in the future, you can, you know, relocate your stuff. All right. So in this case here, uh, I have my background ready. And then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to save as Control Shift S to save as the demo tree background as a PNG file. So I'm going to use this as a, as a background, right? So 
I'm going to name that is uh, BKT. So it's referred to the background and I put in the new folder called Demo Tree. Demo tree, and then we're going to save on it. Yeah. So this will be in my background, and then I'm going to create the button, right? So normally, you when you create the button, you is consist of two part, is a icon part and also the take part. So on the icon part here, uh, I'm going to use shape tool in Photoshop, right? So on the shape tool, when you create the shape tool, you can define the radius of my shape. So I'm going to use a rectangle round corner. So the shape tool will be like 20 pixel, okay? And then I'm going to draw the, the shape. And when you create the shape, right? The shape is be the shape, you know? So you probably can work with the shape, you know, as good as the pixel because uh, the benefit of the shape is always remain vector right so in this case here uh, I'm going to change the color of the shape and maybe change it to you know certain color on that okay let's do it a purple okay I'm going to make the shape and you also can apply certain effects such as the bevel and emboss to it, right? So you can make the bevel, um, let's say 10, and you can add multiple shadow or multiple effects on by clicking the check uh, the correct mark on in front of the the mark you, you want. So for example, in this one, I'm going to create the drop shadow about 10 pixel and make it, you know, this 10 about five. Okay, that should be good enough, All right? So now I've got this two shape done, right? And then I'm going to put the name onto it, right? So I'm going to name this with, uh, let's say, name it with intro, Introduction, All right? Introduction. Then you change the point size, right? or you can press Control T to resizing it visually. All right. So when you got your text, right? You probably um, adjust it the way you like. Okay. So now you got the button ready right so you can hold down your shift key to select between text and chair and then drag into the folder icon on the layer so it's going to group it as the a group so you can define the group as a, let's say intro group or intro button okay intro button and you say okay so now uh, we're going to create exactly same button right um, for different button uh, we got intro and then what we're going to need next right we're going to need the information or maybe I can say contact us or whatever all right so I'm going to create by duplicate it, right? And the next one, I'm going to say, okay, information button, okay? Info. Okay, that's it. Now on the info button, right? You can drag it down and then you change the word on that info. Okay, now you have to change the type here to be information. Alright, okay, so now you're all set, right? You've got two buttons ready, right? And then you need a rollover version, you know, in case you have a rollover or you have something more. So you can duplicate it 
by dragging this info and then make to the new icon right here the next to the trash can and then you got a copy of it right and you change it to be info button row okay so this way you can add the effects on that right so my effect is going to be just the maybe a grow effect on my type so I'm going to select the type itself right and then I'm going to duplicate it right uh, sorry go to outer grow okay and then I change the color of the grow to be maybe some kind of pink or some kind of green to make it obvious different Right. Okay, so I have some grow effects up there, or I can just change the whole button color, yeah, you know, to be uh, to make it totally different. So I can double click on the pink here, and I can change it to let's say blue or yellow, something, right? And okay, so maybe change the type color as well change it to whatever color you want to um, in this case here yeah, maybe I go for like pink alright All right. okay so this is uh, maybe that's good enough for, for information now okay so what I'm going to need right I'm going to need the same effects to introduction, right? But since I change it too much, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this particular one to use intro row button. So I duplicate that and move it up to the top layer and change it to intro. Button row, okay. And then I move this guy up. Okay. And then what I'm going to share it, right? I'm going to share the type from info to introduction. Okay. All set. Okay, so now what I have, right, I have everything ready for me. So before that, right, you use, you can use cropping tool to crop your button to export it. But my, uh, normally what I did, right, I used uh, the marquee to select. And when I select to make sure I cover the whole area of drop shadow you know to be sure you know i just make it slightly bigger to cover the whole area of my certain dog shadow and when i select the marquee i go to the part and then i make a work part so it will convert my marquee selection into the part the torrents uh, will select a 0 0.5 and then i'm going to duplicate that by using the direct selection tool and you hold down your alternate key right and then you um, hold down your alternate key so when you hold down your alternate key your cursor change to be selection plus and then you drag it over hold down your shift key it's going to straight down so now you've got two selection on that right so when you come to selection, I will save it, you know. So now I save this as a layer on that. Okay. So what I'm going to do next, right? I already export my background. So what I need, I'm going to export the button. All right. Okay. So I'm going to first start with uh, the intro button. Okay. So I press B to selection tool or a okay to selection two so now i select the first part introduction part right here 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this part into selection by go to the selection, make selection, okay? And I'm going to turn off the empty areas. So now it's select only introduction button, right? And then I come to the layer. And then I crop, go to image and crop, right? And I click on the introduction button by hold down my Alt key or the option key on the Macintosh or Alt key on the window and click. So if you turn on only the layer that you click, the rest of the layer will automatically off like that, you know. So if you do it again by hold down the Alt key and click, so if you turn on everything. So now I'm turn on only the intro button. Okay, intro button. Okay, with that intro button, I'm going to save as PNG file. And I'm going to name it intro button. I N T R O underscore B U T T O N. Okay, intro button done. Right? And then I'm going to do all key again and click on the intro button row. So now I got my intro button in the yellow, right? And control shift F to save as and change the format to PNG. And then intro button. And I'm going to name additional name on that to row. Okay. So now I got the introduction done, right? And then I have to go to the file and revert to the last save version of it. And now I'm going to select the information button. So I select on the part of the information and then make it as a selection by hold down Alt key and click. So it gives you the same option. So uncheck the empty alias and click OK. So now it's selection, the information button. And then I go crop, right? And now I'm going to layer and all and click on the info button. So it's going to turn off everything except the layer I click. And then Control Shift S to save it, right? So it's going to name as a PNG file and it's going to name as info button. info button and then doing the same thing with the info row by clicking the all key and click and then control and shift F and then PNG and then select the info button and add underscore row on that so now I have everything ready just for you to import and work with in the director version. Right. Done.